Hey everybody, it's me, Leo, currently. Okay, let's get started! Okay. Live from the house, Jeremy goes to give it a massage, Darren talks about addiction with Christina, and then they join some housemates at the dining table. Megan, Daphne, Scotty, and Daniela are having dinner with them. John is naked in the bedroom. David is still sick, and the shoes are on Gemma's bed. The shoes are back on Gemma's bed. Housemates think that the highlights are not shown on Sunday night. Hello, bitches. We have highlights on the fucking weekend, and we get to see what Sunday happened on Sunday on Monday, and we got to see what happened on Saturday on Sunday, so there. Luxury dinner. All the dinners include chicken, but luxury dinner had, like, chicken, like, luxury dinner had chicken and, like, better food. Gemma and John are talking about cooking. I really... I seriously thought at first that the chickens were not part of the rations cooking. <laughs> John is wearing those pajamas. Okay, I don't know if any of you have ever been to Japan, but seriously, they, when you go to like a hotel or a capsule hotel, usually um, when they give you pajamas, they're like... Or like when you go to the hospital in Japan, the top is like a... It's like a jean... They, it's like a jean bay, and what they do is they give you a top that ties up to, like, the left side of your body. Not to the right side, because if it's the right side, then um, that means you're dying. Or you're a hospital patient, but it's usually to the left side. They tie, You tie it, and then they give you a pair of pants with it. That's what John was wearing. And, like, they give them to you, like, in Japanese hotels, so I'm thinking that he stole them from a hotel in Japan. Gemma wants to get housemates numbers in, like, after the show's over, and Gemma's stuff is everywhere in the bedroom, so she needs help packing if she gets evicted. She's safe, so there we go. Tiffany now doesn't want Gemma to leave. Gemma tells Tiffany she walked off another reality show, and we know about Gemma's walk-off. Mimosas are part of the luxury drinks, I think. Gemma thinks Scotty T would be the winner of the series, and she wouldn't win. Christopher also believes he wouldn't win also. He actually said that he would have gone into the house for free. Apparently Tiffany and Gemma are getting along again. Daniela doesn't want Gemma to be evicted. Big Brother gives Christina and housemates towels and face masks and spa creams. Tiffany wants to get into the diary room. Housemates apparently saved, from, saved chocolate from some fountain from last week's launch slash unlocking of the house. John wants to throw out the chocolate. He did. Because he wants to, because apparently it went bad and wants the pot to be used for actual cooking. Thursday is cleaning day in the house, I guess, because I heard vacuum cleaners and stuff like that. Stephanie is still worried about probably being evicted. She's not, she's safe too. Luxury gets cigarettes and, luxury people get cigarettes, rations don't. Gemma needs clarification about the luxury food since she's on the, one of the housemates on rations. Nancy gives Tiffany dining tips. You know what I really want? I need, like, a complete list, like, online of what is usually in the l ration shopping budget in the uh, house. That would be helpful if you give me that. Because I know it's always something with chickpeas. <laughs> Gemma wants Darren to know something about, still, about John and, like, how... He was being two-faced towards Darren and stuff like that. Gemma is still hungry because she's on rations. Housemates way down the light switch. Big Brother turns on the bed in the bedroom. Big Brother turns back on the light switch. Oh, John suggested it too, which that's annoying. Highlights and eviction. There were live live nominations. We'll get to that later. The morning after the fight, Megan slept in the spare room, which I know that they're going to use as the bed sit room. It just looks like it's going to be set up for the fucking bed sit. David never seen Megan angry. 
I mean, like, bitch, you didn't watch X on the Beach or anything like that. John thinks that Megan flipped at him, and Angie felt for Megan. Oh, and John was uh, denying everything about it. Like, it was not... I wasn't part of it. I wasn't part of it. That kind of shit. Everybody is still in disbelief about John's behavior. David's playing Cupid between Stephanie and uh, Jeremy. David suggests Stephanie to snuggle with him instead of Jeremy. Big Brother gives Megan a formal warning for her anger. Apparently she made threats of violence towards John. And apparently in the UK, the term ghetto cunt is racist. Especially the term ghetto. It might be considered racist in a couple of years in the US, so... I think Megan literally quit her anger management classes just to get into the Big Brother house. I, I'm just putting it out there. Big Brother t gives Tiffany a, not like a formal warning, but a warning too, apparently. Megan re-enters the house. She thinks that her warning is a joke. She, Megan was on Tiffany's side. Megan and Tiffany patch things up. And Gemma tries to interrupt and said, and said that Megan didn't do anything wrong, but Tiffany's like, hello, I'm speaking to Megan first. Megan had calmly explained what John did to Tiffany. John is still denying any part in the argument. Nancy observes that there's a house divide, but Gemma says there's no divide. People smell the shit and woken up to it. John in the diary room, he says that he wants to keep a low profile for the day, but he's bitching about everybody. He's bitching about Megan. He can't believe how manipulative and distressful the housemates are. Which is actually... Which is actually a reflection on himself. Megan to Big Brother. She apologized to Big Brother for her reaction and trying to knock down the camera. She won't apologize to John because of how, manipul how manipulative he's been in the house. The task of the day is a lip sync battle. Judges are Christina, Scotty T, David, and Daniela. John versus Christopher, John won. Stephanie versus Jeremy, Stephanie won. Tiffany versus Darren, Darren won. Gemma versus Megan, Gemma won. And Angie versus Nancy, Nancy won. I wish they would have continued on and had... John, Stephanie, Darren, Gemma, and Nancy face each other all the way up to, like, a full competition and then somebody wins something. John is still being catty. David doesn't want to want any more drama for the night. John is giving a lot of people stink eye. And then Gemma is talking with Darren about the whole addiction, like, the battle with addiction stuff. And then they say something about John and Christina, like, Christina also agrees with John all the time, and I want John and Christina to be separated. Gemma and Megan's vibes weren't good with John. And then let's go to the live eviction and stuff. So they say Gemma and Stephanie were safe. We're the first two safe. They had the most votes. Nancy gets evicted. Nancy's interview with Emma. She didn't want to know anything about Big Brother before entering. And then it sounded like she's playing, like, that she speaks in terrible English, so, like, nobody can understand her. But then again, she was, like, being very diplomatic about shit and just being, like, very calm and shit. She said that she, one of the people that she would like to see win is Scotty T. Then they go to a live nomination where Angie, Gemma, and Jeremy, and Stephanie are to do killer face-to-face -face nominations for Tuesday's nomination, for Tuesday's eviction. Angie felt like she was put on the spot by Big Brother, so she chose Christina, and she was like, I'm not, uh, she wasn't prepared to nominate. Gemma nominated John for what he did to Darren, and she was like, she was calm about it, she knew what she was going to do, and she did this at the end and shit. Jeremy voted Tiffany because she apparently isolates herself in the house. Stephanie voted Daniela because she's strong enough to take the nomination. Stephanie was originally going to nominate John, but since one of the rules was you can't nominate anybody that was already up for nomination already. Up for Tuesday's eviction are Christina, Daniela, Tiffany, and John. Okay, bit on the side. Bits bit on the side started in the eye this time in the live set, which is inside the eye, I call it. 
And then they did, that's where they did Emma's, the interview with Emma and stuff like that. I think it's because Emma is so pregnant that she can't climb down the stairs in the bot side and climb up and down the stairs. And then they go straight to the bot set, and Nancy has really done nothing in the house. That's why she got evicted, I swear. Like, Gemma's nomination, people in the bot's panel were saying that Gemma's nomination was amazing. Nancy didn't even understand the whole concept of bit on the side at all. Even the whole concept of the killer nominations, because she didn't get to see it because she was on her way to bit on the side. Gemma's nomination was amazing. I just said that. I just like to say that again. Nancy's exit outfit was not fit for winter. I'll just say that right now. And the exclusive that I caught was that Darren was still gutted about John's nomination. Still. Okay, I did not do... I'll do Live from the House with tonight's highlights because tonight's highlights includes the live eviction again and the live nomination. And so, I'll see ya.